Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can set up unique permissions for files and folders in SharePoint Online. Now, I actually recorded a video on this several years ago. However, uh, Microsoft has recently totally revamped the user interface. The mechanism is kind of still the same, but uh, the screens, the user interface is different. So I thought I would record a new video showing you this cool functionality. So first of all, I want to uh, explain to you what I mean by setting up unique permissions. The idea here is that we have a site just like this, for example, uh, with a document library and a bunch of files and folders. And we're not talking about sharing uh, documents here. We're actually talking about hiding some of the files and folders from other members of the team. So we're kind of doing the opposite. We're setting up unique permissions uh, than those that we have at the site level. Now, in order for you to understand how to create unique access, how to set up unique permissions for files and folders, we must first understand who has access um, uh, to the site itself, all right? Essentially to the whole site itself. We need to understand uh, the site permissions first. So uh, to do that, um, uh, let me show you what we have here. So we have this team site, all right? A SharePoint uh, team site connected to Microsoft Teams. It could also be a communication site, all right? It doesn't really matter. The steps are the same. However, I kind of chose uh, the worst case scenario here and let me explain to you why. So again, this is a team site connected to Microsoft Teams. So what that means is that the site level permissions is controlled by the Microsoft 365 group membership. So let's check it out. We have uh, three members here. So we have myself as the owner of this uh, group, of this team, and Mary and John are the team members. However, because uh, this is a site connected to the group, this is not enough, right? We might also uh, have someone in the visitors group of the site, right? Maybe somebody went ahead and did this. Let me actually show you what could have happened. So gear icon, site permissions, all right? And uh, let me explain, um, look at this. Under, so we have uh, myself as the owner in the SharePoint group that controls, you know, essentially the owners, the admins of the site. We have John and Mary over here, but look at this, somebody, went in and shared the site only and invited everyone else to uh, this particular site uh, as visitors, as read-only users. So when we set up, this is a super important to understand. Before you even set up unique permissions for your files and folders, first you need to make sure you understand who has access to the whole site uh, kind of at the global level. So we kind of have the picture now. We have John and Mary here. We have, uh, you know, everyone within our organizations as read-only, which is fine. Uh, now we're ready to set up unique permissions uh, for some of the files and folders. So let's, uh, for, the, for this particular exercise, let's do this. Uh, this invoices folder, Mary, should not have access to this, all right? So we need to hide this invoices folder. And just to show you, just to kind of prove uh, to you uh, on this other um, browser, I'm logged in as Mary. She obviously gets to see uh, everything at the moment because she is the member of the site. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, so, uh, by the way, the process is kind of identical. Doesn't really matter whether you want to hide a file or a folder, doesn't really matter. Uh, the steps are the same. So I'm going to hide this particular folder uh, from Mary. I'm going to right click, manage access. Now, by the way, very important, you know how you can also share, um, you know, files and folders with others. Everyone can share, all right? Everyone on the team can share and copy links to files and folders. However, this setup of unique permissions, the manage access thing can also be done by, uh, can only be done by owners. All right, Mary uh, cannot uh, hide something from John or John cannot hide something from Mary. Uh, essentially, only owners can hide files and folders from others. All right, so you have to be the owner, the admin of your site. Right click, manage access. And let's see what we have over here. So under the groups tab, all right, so this is the screen, the new user interface now. Uh, it shows you who currently has access to this particular uh, to this particular folder. 
Uh, and in this case, it just essentially inherits the permission from the site, all right? So the uh, I am in this owners group. In the visitors group, remember, we have everyone within our organization. And then uh, under the members group, John and Mary, they're over here. So let's fix that. So first of all, we need to um, uh, possibly, let's just say, you know what, for this particular use case, let's also remove all the visitors. This is super confidential folder. So let's, in addition to a Mary, let's also remove visitors. So we're going to click here, click here. And uh, we can actually change the permissions, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to remove, uh, this is super confidential folder. So we are trying to remove all the visitors from it. So let's remove. All right, just like that. Perfect. So as you can see, the visitors are gone. So that means all the visitors, everyone within the organization lost access to this invoices folder. Now let's do the same to the members group. So John and Amiri, they're over here. So we obviously need to remove this group. So click uh, on uh, this can edit permission level. Again, we can change it, but again, we are after removal. All right, so we are trying to remove this group. Now, uh, the way it stands right now, so I removed uh, everyone. I removed uh, everyone, the whole group, right, uh, from that folder. So both John and Mary lost access to this particular folder now. However, I only wanted Mary to lose access, not John. So because I removed the group, remember the you know, members group uh, from the folder, uh, I now need to um, uh, welcome John back, right? I need to add John back uh, uh, to this particular folder. And to do that, we uh, click this um, grant access button in the operating corner. And this is where you specify the users that you want to invite back. And uh, when you invite them back, you can actually specify, you know, John, you can view this folder or edit this folder. We can supply the message. Let's not worry about it. And we grant access. And let me show you what we just did. We'll validate it in a second. So right click. Again, let's double check. Manage access. All right, and as you can see, um, it kind of tells me over here, I gave John the special um, you know, privileges. So on the groups, we're still going to see this mix, all right, the same mix um, of groups that we had before, right? Obviously, I removed the others. But essentially, it now tells me that I gave John those unique permissions uh, to this particular folder because I removed them as part of the, um, or as part of the members group. Now, uh, let's double check if it works, all right? So the way it stands right now, uh, even though both John and Mary uh, have access uh, to the whole site, right, being the members of this uh, Microsoft 365 group, I removed Mary from this invoices folder. So let's double check and make sure that's the case. So uh, yeah, I'm logged in as Mary here. And as you can see, this folder is gone for her right now. I didn't even have to uh, refresh the screen. This folder is invisible to her. And obviously, if John um, you know, were to log in, he would see this particular you know, folder because I added John back. All right. So that's essentially what uh, you need to do. I'm back on my screen. That's why you get to see uh, this particular you know, folder. Let me show you uh, one more trick, one more trick uh, that's uh, worth uh, noting over here. So um, if you ever, as you create all those unique permissions for files and folders, it might become a little bit messy, right? You might have all those different unique permissions. And sometimes you're wondering who has access to that particular file or folder. Uh, so first of all, obviously, you can see this right here, right? Uh, just like that, who has access, uh, you know, through group membership and links and, you know, people having a unique access. But another thing you can do is click this three dots in the operating corner and click advanced settings. All right. And we're kind of going behind the scenes. And essentially, it's this uh, what we call classic uh, you know, SharePoint, it pretty much tells you the same story, right? The owners have obviously access to this folder. And then it tells you this folder has unique permissions, obviously. And then John got special access to this folder. If you ever have any doubts, another thing you can do is click this, um, you know, check permissions button. And this is where you can type in the user's names. So you know what? I'm wondering if Mary has access uh, to this folder. Check now. Obviously none, as you can see, right? And let's now check John. All right, here we go. 
you see it tells us that John does have access so if you ever have any kind of doubts about who has access to that particular folder maybe you uh, added some groups you know or you users removed uh, um, uh, you, you know uh, some uh, new groups and users and you are just wondering if specific people you want to double check make sure to click this advanced permissions and uh, check permissions use this check permissions button from there uh, but other than that that's pretty much chat um, again a few steps involved but very important before you set up unique permissions you know I encourage you to first do this all right make sure if it's if it's a communication site it's nice and easy you just go to gear icon set permissions because there is no group attached right what you see here is what you get right but when you have a team site uh, connected uh, to teams obviously in Microsoft 365 group you kind of kind of have to check in both places because this doesn't tell you much all right this doesn't tell you much this is not the whole you know membership if you will of the site right this just tells you the people in the Microsoft 365 groups um, what you really need to do on a team site is go here because you might have a hidden you know users somewhere hidden groups added directly to the site and you obviously need to account for that when you set up unique permissions for your files and folders all right um so that's pretty much it um uh that's pretty much everything i wanted to explain to you in this particular video hopefully you uh, you found it useful and informative as always happy to see you on my blog sharepointmaven.com as well as my youtube channel thank you very much have a great rest of the day goodbye